Okay, boys and girls, when you're working on your digital monochromatic polygon animal, like my one to the right here, what you want to do first is scroll down to one of the three animals that I've posted here, either the bear, the wolf, or the owl, and you want to click on one of those examples that you'd like to use for your final project. So obviously, I created the owl. You can create any of these three. So what I'm going to do is click on that picture, and then in the right-hand corner here, you should see a little box with an arrow. Click on that because what that will allow you to do is open up your own copy of this in Google Drawings. So on the top here, it says open with Google Drawings. You're going to click on that. Now, as you can see here, it says view only. That means you can't edit this document yet. So what you want to do is go to file and make a copy. You can name this copy whatever you'd like. You can say my polygon art project if you'd like. And then it should save to your drive here and click OK. Now you should have your own copy of this document that you can create your art project on in Google Drawings. So right now we're in Google Drawings. We want to go over a few tips on how to use Google Drawings. So to use Google Drawings, you are mostly for this project going to use the line tool. Now if you look up here on the tools menu, you'll see line, but you'll also see select line with a drop down arrow. You want to click that because we're mainly going to use this line called polyline. Now what polyline allows you to do is create complex shapes using the line by dragging the line. And once I've created that complex shape, what I can do is go to select and I can move this shape around. I can change the color of the shape. I can even change the outline color of the shape. Um, I can change the thickness of the line. There's lots of editing things that I can do with this shape. I can even twist the shape around. I can move it back and forth, up and down. I can make it bigger and smaller. I can even double click on the shape <clears throat> and I can use the points here to edit the shape further. So these little points that I made, those are the points that I clicked when I was using polyline. So let's try this again. I'm going to go to polyline again. Now when I use polyline, I'm going to start with a point and then I'm going to drag that point into a line. Now if I want to change directions, I have to click a new point and then drag in a new direction. Click a new point and drag in a new direction. And this will allow me to create a complex shape. Every time I click and drag, click and drag, I will create a new point. And then to close the shape, I have to go back to that beginning point, which was right here, and click on the beginning point. And that will create a closed shape for me that I can move around. Now, if I were to use polyline, and I'm clicking and dragging, and I don't go back to the original point, and I double click, then it's not going to create a closed shape for me. So I want to make sure I always click and drag until I'm finishing finished up with the shape and I go back to the beginning point and I click on that beginning point and then I can edit the shape how I like and I can go to select and move that shape around. So your goal for this project is to create your polygon animal using color value. So let's start with basics, the basics of polyline and what I'm going to do is click on polyline and I'm going to kind of go to the little magnifying glass here, the zoom tool, and I'm going to zoom into my blank owl. Go to polyline and start with any of the shapes. It does not matter which shape you start with. I'm going to start with this shape right here in the very middle. So I'm going to outline the shape by starting with one corner point. So I'm clicking here, I'm dragging, and I can see that blue line that shows me where I'm dragging. I've got to my next corner point, I'm going to click, then I'm going to drag to the next point, click, drag to the next point, click, drag to the final point from the very beginning, click, and that created a shape for me. Now this shape, I have to decide what color I'd like to use for my monochromatic animal. Um, you can see from my example in the beginning here on the website, I used different shades of red. So based on your practice drawings that you did, you should have shaded a color value scale from 1 all the way to 7 from light to dark using just one color. Probably most of you, you just used a pencil gray color. For this, you're going to choose any color of the rainbow, but you're going to be using shades of that color. So that's what we call monochromatic, shades of one color. So if red is going to be my color, then I'm going to click on select so I make sure that shape is selected. Go to the paint bucket tool and I'm going to select just red for now, just a regular bright red. 
on top there. Now my goal is to look at the owl and decide what value does that red need to be. If I'm looking at this owl here and I zoom out, this is the answer key to how I'm going to change the colors on the bottom owl every single time. So if I look at this value here, this looks to me like it's maybe closer to the dark value side. It's not closer to a lighter value like a one that we used in the colors value scale before. It's maybe closer to like more of a four or five, closer to the middle towards the darker value area. So what I'm going to do is go to my red and I'm going to click custom and take my red and just bring it down towards black a little bit more because I noticed that that's a darker value. So I can see that they kind of match each other now. It's darker and this one is darker. So I'm going to keep doing this for all of the shapes. Let's try another one now. Go back to polyline. You're going to want to zoom in so you can see what you're doing. And then outline a new shape. So I'll just go and outline this next shape next to the one that I've already outlined. So I'm clicking and dragging. Click. Every time I get to a corner point, click. Click and then go back to the beginning, click, and I've got my final shape. Now if I scroll up here, this shape is a little bit lighter than this shape, so I know it's a lighter value. So I have to select this shape now, go to my custom, and I'm gonna pull this up towards the lighter area because I know it's a little bit of a lighter value than the one that I had before. So bringing this color towards white will it make it lighter, bringing it towards black will make it darker. So that's a little bit lighter. If I look at the example though, I don't know if that's quite the right value. This looks like it's a little bit lighter, even lighter than this one. So I'm gonna go back to custom and just change that a bit and go a little bit more towards white to make it a little bit lighter. Now that looks a little bit more correct. I can see the difference between the two a little bit more carefully here. So I'm gonna zoom out and just see how it's going. I'm gonna keep doing this for all the shapes. So let's try a really light shape like this one on the top here. Let's zoom back into this shape. Go to polyline and outline that shape. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Now go to paint bucket and go to custom. Oops, it looks like it changed to blue. I'm gonna go back to paint bucket and actually click one of my previous colors down here. The colors that I previously used will all start to show up down here. I'm gonna use that lighter value that I used before, but it needs to be even lighter. So I'm actually going to take this and pull it way towards white. So now I can see the difference between the two. This is more of a medium dark, lighter, and then this is the lightest so far. And you should see that those kind of match the owl on the top here. So your goal for the next two weeks is to complete the entire animal by using all of the color values, trying to match them up as best as you can, using your animal on top, using um, your eyes and your observation skills and your um, knowledge of color value that you practiced last week using your color value scale. You can even go back to your color value animal scale and reference that to see the scale to help you sort of match up which value is the value that you're looking towards putting in your animal. Um, one tip that might help you is actually to use something called flip flipping of your shapes. So if I go to select here on top here, I can actually click on a shape and I can click on format options. And what that will allow me to do is change the shape and flip it to the other side so I don't have to recreate it. So if I go to size and rotation up here and I click flip, this shape will flip to the other side. Now what I wanna actually do though is copy it before I flip it so I have two of the same shape. So I'm going to go to my um, edit button on the very top here and click copy and then edit paste. Now it will give me some tools here to help me see how to copy and paste. I can go command V, command C to copy, command V to paste. So I'm actually going to do that. Command C, command V. Now I have the same shape. I'm just going to click on flip and then try and fit that shape into the right spot. So this will help me be able to not have to recreate the shapes. I can just copy and paste them. Once I finished half of the owl, I can just start copying, Command C, Command V, and then flipping each of these shapes to the other side. And that will kind of help me, as a shortcut, finish my project quicker. 
Okay, so that's the basic of how to finish your owl when you're done, or whatever animal you picked. When you're done, it should look something kind of like this. You should have finished all the values. They should match up pretty well with your example from the black and white example from before. Now, one thing that you can do is you can add a background to this. You can add any details you like. You can get really creative with this. Um, one way that I did that is I actually took my original picture in here and I started to delete the original picture so I only had my art in the end. Um, I added a square shape to the whole picture and I changed it to green or whatever color you like you can change it to. And then I went arrange order send to the very back. And what that will help me, oops I have to delete this white part here. What that will help me do is just create a nice background for the back of my picture. So I can add a background, I can add other details to the owl or to the background. It's up to me how I finish the project. My main goals are though that I have to match up the color values and finish all the polygon shapes of my animal. Okay, good luck and I cannot wait to see your work.